It's time to make another celebrity wet. This is Innuendo Bingo. Day three of the triumphant return of Innuendo Bingo. People are absolutely loving it. Loads of people watching right now, like Andrew and also another Laura in Belfast. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and someone called The Limited on Twitter, who is uh, at University in London, is watching in the library. Very risky. Okay. So, here we go. Laura Whitmore, in your bingo. As you know, Laura, as a veteran of the game, you know, you know all the rules. You have brought a change of clothes, right? You see, this is what I'm scared oh, of. Because what it... are you doing? It's your third time. <laughs> oh, well. It's absolutely fine, because I've kindly offered my Watford shirt. You're still yeah. doing that trick, are you? I really like the colour yellow. Is, there we go. <laughs> And if you walk outside and get photographed in the Watford shirt, that, that, honestly, that would do me a lot of favours. I mean, uh, that would make me a good friend to you, yeah. It really uh, oh, would. Yes. I yeah. mean, like, that would be two presents in one day. It would be awesome. Just think um, about it anyway. Okay. Yeah. Let's see how wet we get. Have a think. Take it from there. Okay. You're going to soak her on purpose now. <laughs> so uh, You do it anyway. As yeah. you know, the water is cold. Please don't swear as it hits your face at high speed. And let's play Innuendo Bingo. <laughs> water, please. A considerable amount mm. in your face. Here we go again. Face. Cheers. Slantra. Slantra. What's that mean? <laughs> it's Irish, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that a mouthful of water there? Sorry. <laughs> it's just Irish. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you apologising? No, no, I, I, I just didn't know what no, you I'm said. I'm sorry. And you said it too, and I was like, is this some language I don't know? <laughs> we have our own language. I feel left out. Sorry. Water, please. Okay. We start with, Cor <laughs> with Coronation Street on ITV. Now, I'm not too sure where Sally was when Tyrone was painting the fence, but he seems to have finished it off real nice. Can I have a word? Yeah, of course you can. Thanks for treating our fence the other day. Hey, you're quite nifty with a paintbrush. Not one single drop found its way onto my bush. <laughs> so accurate. Tyrone, they're so accurate. It's just in the crotch. Oh, like straight away as well. Denim is such a bad choice. Not one single drop found its way onto my bush. So well done to Tyrone there for painting that face uh, fence so nicely there. Uh, thank you, Daniel and Nick <laughs> and Tom and Fergal and Peter, Liam, Paul, Joe and Nikki for sending that one in. More water, please. Why have you got two in your hand? Because I'm filling up and you just got me in the face. <laughs> sorry, I'm just sorry. <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay. I can feel this is going to be a wet one. Time for a classic now. Mm-hmm. And it's Time Team on More 4. Mm. Mm -hmm. And when he's working, Tony Robinson knows exactly what he wants. But ever the gentleman, he always asks first. John did some geophys here and he came up with two things which look suspiciously like ditches. Naomi, can I come in your trench? Yes, yeah. <laughs> 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 no swearing. <laughs> I said, I said, ha! I know. <laughs> Mr. Stark. Tony That's Robinson there getting into the archaeological trench that Naomi was digging. <sighs> Good of him to ask. Naomi, can I come in your trench? Yes, you can. <laughs> More water, please. <laughs> naughty. Okay. It's just in your head, Laura. It's all innuendo. It's all innuendos. Mm. Now, here's Hayley from mm. Obsessive Compulsive Disorders. On Channel Four, it's mm -hmm. a cleaning show. You know where they're like they they're, they're mm -hmm. obsessively clean. I love those shows. Mm -hmm. So we join Haley in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure of her technique, but she can come round to mine to do this anytime. It smells like the most delicious pot puree. It's now time to beat it off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, have you soaked the camera Leave them out there. of it, Laura. Sorry. There's a man taking pictures from down below and tweeting them. And um <laughs> He's underneath the desk, it's very weird. He's uh Sorry. Now, now I don't very think wet. I More water, please. You, how do you put so much in your mouth? Well rehearsed. Hmm. It's now time to beat it off. No, oh. I've just sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've just realised, water please. I've realised there's more of that clip. I stopped it too oh. soon. Oh. So reload please. More than what we got already? Mm -hmm. Water? Yeah. Mm. Back to Hayley. Now I'm sucking it all off. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. God. There's Hayley there rigorously cleaning her mattress. It's extra cold today. Mm. Mark and Ellen sent that to scott.mills at bbc.co.uk. If you've got a clip, send it in. Thank you. 
Now we join BBC Breakfast Ooh. in the middle of a conversation about Andy Murray's meltdown at the Miami Open. What's please? Is it as wet as you remember this game? Mm. Mm. Uh, it's colder. The water's definitely colder. Mm. We're talking about Andy Murray. Now, I never realised that Andy had such specific demands on court. The men's balls are furrier, <laughs> and he wanted to play with a man's ball because um, they're tougher, they're, they're weighted differently, and, of course, that's what he practises all the time. The heavier, aren't they? Yeah, heavier. <laughs> talking about tennis balls there, obviously. Best yeah. for breakfast. BBC, BBC breakfast. breakfast. Well, it's just, that's what he wants on court. The men's <clears throat> balls are furrier. Chris found that one. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Water, please. <laughs> Penny, <more. laughs> It is colder, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Having fun, Scott. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. It's so good to have you back, Laura. Great to be back. Now, Chris, Laura, <laughs> you know the world's most beautiful egg on BBC Four? <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah. As well as showing us some brilliant eggs from the olden days, the... <laughs> <laughs> the programme gives a fascinating insight into the private life of Alexander III's wife, Maria. Mm. Check this out. It's based on a similar egg in the Danish royal collection, which Maria would have known from her childhood. But little could she have imagined as she fondled her chicken on that <laughs> Easter Sunday morning. This was the start of something <gasps> huge. Huge. <laughs> <laughs> What's that show called, Scott? It's called The World's Most Beautiful Egg. <laughs> nice. BBC Four. Oh. Uh, Maria, what a girl. But little could she have imagined as she fondled her chicken on that Easter Sunday. Water, day. please. <laughs> oh. You always after spray. This is Laura it's Whitmore, like in your bingo. It takes a while sometimes for it to register. Now we're going over yeah, to Sean, Sean mm. Keaveney on BBC Six Music. Water, please. Listen to how excited Sean is to be hosting the show. But there is a reason why. It's 39 minutes past eight here on BBC Radio 6 Music. And I'm Sean Keaveney. I've got my... Um, come in my shorts this morning. <laughs> it was a hot day, so... Uh, Sean, <laughs> Sean decided to wear shorts to work. Come in my shorts this morning. That's nice. Um, okay, what's please? I don't look. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, you, you still look, look good. Still look hot. <laughs> uh, okay. You you've improved. Thank you. Now over to Five Live, where as always they're discussing the most important topics of the day. Mm. Now, Laura, I'd really like to know your thoughts on this topic. Mm. I'm all for it myself. Lynn, the other thing as well is, it's a big bonus having rear access. A lot of people want it. <laughs> it is a big bonus. It is. I don't have that at home and I wish I did have it. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> it's a big bonus having rear access. A lot of people want it. Thank you, James, for sending that one in. What was it, please? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is... You know, sometimes I remember how ridiculous this game is. <laughs> no, sometimes you forget the situation and then yeah. you take yourself this out of it. This is happening right now. It is. This isn't a dream. Mm. This is my like third time. How many times have you done it? Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> word. Hundreds. <laughs> now, another classic. And now, unusually, this one is from a TV advert. Water, please. Chris, Laura, before yeah. you go to sleep tonight, mm -hmm. please remember this. There are some things you wouldn't do by half. So why only do half the job with your mouth? <laughs> that was... And that was in your bingo. What was that? It's an advert for mouthwash, obviously. <laughs> oh, well, that was a good one. Well played. Very good. Played. Very good. Played. Very good. Played.